welcome back to my channel or if you've never seen me before, my name is Emmy and I've made it my personal mission to make sure that rats get the best care that they deserve. Rats make really amazing pets but unfortunately there are a lot of common mistakes that people make when they first start out with owning them and fixing these mistakes can make such a difference to your rats lives. This video is by no means meant to shame any of you if you've made these mistakes in the past. Everyone makes mistakes and everyone grows and learns as they own an animal. I just thought it was really important to make this video just in case it helps any of you to improve your rats' lives. Are you done drinking yet? That's okay, I'll wait. Yay! So the first and probably the most common and most important mistake that people make is going out and only getting one rat. I've stressed this before but I cannot stress enough how important it is for your rats to live with another rat. Rats are highly social creatures and it's so so important for them to live with another rat of their kind. If they are living alone they will get extremely depressed and this can affect their health. Now I've heard a lot of reasons and sometimes excuses why people have kept their rats alone but really you should not be going out and buying one rat or adopting one rat in the first place. It does not matter if it's your personal preference whether you only want one rat or if you feel like you don't have enough money for one. If you don't have enough money for two rats, then you really shouldn't be owning one. I know it does sound harsh, but it is in the best interest of the rats for them to be living in pairs or groups. So please do not go out and buy or adopt just one rat. They really need to be living in pairs or groups. It does not matter how much attention you give it, you cannot be with it when you're sleeping, when you're at school or work or when you're in the shower. You cannot be with your rat 24-7. And even if you could, this still would not be enough. You cannot communicate with a rat in the same way that another rat would. You can't groom them, you can't talk to them, you can't cuddle with them in the same way and it's simply not fair to be housing them alone. So I urge you if you do have just one rat to please go out and get them a friend. Introductions can sometimes be a bit tricky but if you do it the right way or if you do have a particularly aggressive rat, neutering them really helps and it is really important that they're living in pairs. Or if you did previously only house one rat because you didn't know any better, maybe next time please just consider going out and getting two rats or going for another animal that is a solitary animal and not a social animal like rats. The next common mistake that people often make when keeping rats is housing them in tanks or bin cages. Now rat care has come a long way in the past couple of years and most people aren't keeping them in these sort of enclosures anymore because they don't offer enough ventilation. If you're familiar with rats, you'll know that they are really prone to having respiratory infections and keeping them in a tank which does not offer enough ventilation can cause the ammonia to really build up and this can then cause them to have a respiratory infection. Tanks also do not provide the rats with the ability to climb. Rats really enjoy and need to climb and a tank just simply can't provide this. You really want to be looking at getting them a wired cage like this, not just for ventilation but for them to be able to climb. Obviously you don't need to get one as big as the one that I have, but there are plenty of good cages out there on the market that are big enough and provide a lot of ventilation. And if you're worried about costs, which is why you were going for a tank or a bin cage in the first place, then you can also find cages like this second hand for a lot less money. I know some people do keep their rats in bin cages with all four sides meshed out for ventilation but the fact of the matter is you'll need a lot of bin cages to create the height that rats need to climb and this is probably going to be about as expensive as a second hand cage anyway. Another super common and unfortunate mistake people make when going to get rats is getting them from a pet store or a pet shop. The majority of rats and other small animals that come from pet stores are unfortunately bred in something called rodent mills, which is where they just mass produce and mass breed these rats. And unfortunately, even if you do see a rat in a pet store and you're wanting to take it out of that situation, you're funding the behind the scenes of this and you're funding the rodent mills and the cruelty that goes on behind closed doors. So please do not ever buy your rats from pet stores because you're just funding this continuous cycle of rats being bred in these horrible conditions. Rats that are bred for pet stores also don't have the focus of selective breeding that they would have if they were bred from a really responsible breeder. Because of this, the rats you find in pet stores can have such a wide variety and mismatch of genetics and you really don't know what you're going to end up with, which can result in a lot of health issues. The majority of rats that come from pet stores aren't bred to have good health and this can cause them to have a lot of issues such as cancer and ultimately they can actually die a lot younger than rats that come from a responsible breeder. Pet stores also don't have the time to put into bonding with and taming every single rat that they sell so you will have to work a lot harder with rats that you get from a pet store and some rats will never end up being as tame as some of the rats you see on the internet and some of the rats you see from people that have got them from a breeder so it is beneficial not just for the rats that 
are in the pet stores and the rats that are being continuously bred in these horrible conditions. For you to not buy from them, it's also beneficial that you don't buy from a pet store because you're probably not going to get a healthy or friendly rat. You also have to be careful with pet stores that aren't just chain pet stores. A lot of pet stores will lie and say that they either breed the rats themselves or they don't get them from mills. But unfortunately, even if they say they're breeding them themselves, you really can't guarantee the genetics and you can't guarantee that you're going to get a healthy rat. Now I know it can be tempting to just go out and get rats because you're really excited to own them and the only quick and available option is pet stores. But please try your best to find a breeder or a rescue or someone on something like Craigslist that is rehoming their rats. It is really beneficial to wait and find the right rats for you that are going to be healthy and friendly. Another common mistake that people may make when they first take on rats is underestimating how smart they are and how much enrichment they need. If you're taking on rats, you really need to be prepared to give them as much of your time and money as possible because they are so smart and they can get so bored really easily. But providing them with enrichment is really simple and this just involves making their cage a lot more active and interesting. Instead of just having a couple of hammocks, make sure you've got things like ropes and ladders, things for them to dig in and things like foraging toys for them to use their little brains to work out how to get food out of. These are all really great things to put in their cage to keep them entertained. It's also really important to have them out for at least half an hour to an hour a day. This will help you to bond with them but also keep their mind stimulated and let them explore an area that's not just their cage. And it's also really important to switch up their cage and move things around in it just to prevent them from getting bored. Another common mistake that people may make is bathing your rats and thinking that rats need regular baths. Now I have made an entirely separate video talking about this. This is a mistake that I made when I first got rats because I saw other people doing it and I thought that it was something that was necessary. But rats do not need regular baths. It can be extremely stressful to them and it can also cause them to have skin irritation. If you're using things like pet shampoo, my dog is barking. Casper! Shh! I'll leave a link up in the icons and in the description of the video I made more in depth on bathing rats but bathing them regularly is really not necessary. that I wanted to talk about and is easily done is buying the wrong bedding for your rats. When you're going to the pet store to get supplies for your rats for the first time it can be really overwhelming with a wide selection of bedding and you can also get the wrong advice from some store employees. Now something that is really important is to make sure again because rats do have such sensitive respiratory systems is to make sure the bedding you're buying is not dusty. Look for beddings that say they are either dust extracted or have the dust removed and you also want to avoid using sawdust as a bedding. This is something that is commonly sold in pet stores, but shouldn't really be used for any animal because it is so harmful. Things like pine and cedar, if they're not kiln dried and dust extracted, are extremely harmful to rats and other small animals that have sensitive respiratory systems. And the fennels in these beddings can actually cause your rats to develop respiratory infections and are really harmful, so definitely avoid beddings like these. mistake is thinking that you want to breed your rats. Maybe you think your rats are really cute and you've got males and females that you think would make some really pretty babies or you're just wanting to increase your rat numbers and add to your family. This is a really dangerous thing to do if you don't have a background in genetics and can't predict the outcome of what the babies are going to be. Especially if you don't know the genetic history of your rats to begin with, this is really really irresponsible and a dangerous thing to do because you don't know what health problems you may be breeding into the rats. So please just don't breed your rats. There are plenty of rats out there looking for homes. If you're desperate to have baby rats, then go to a responsible breeder or go to a rescue or find some rats that need a home. There are often so many accidental litters out there that need homes. So please go down that route instead of trying a hand at breeding yourself because ultimately it's your rats' lives that you're playing with and their genetics and it's just gonna be really messy. mistake that I wanted to mention is that hopefully none of you do this because you're watching my channel because you love rats, but that is not spending enough time with them. Rats are not granted with enough time on this planet, they only live about two to three years, which in my opinion just isn't long enough. So you really just want to spend as much time with them as you can because it does go by so quickly. It's really important to have your rats out as much as you can and bond with them and have them out for about half an hour to an hour as I mentioned before, a day just to let them spend some time with you, get used to you and run around and have some exercise. But it is really important to spend as much quality time with them as you can. The time goes by really quickly. If you've never had rats before, or if you have had rats for a long time, you'll know that 
in a blink of an eye there, elderly and old, just make sure you took lots and lots of pictures of them and spent as much time with them as you can, just that you've given them the best life possible. So that was it for today's video guys, again I really didn't mean this to belittle anyone or make you feel bad about the way that you've previously housed rats or how you're housing them now. The important thing is making changes to make our rats lives better and learning as you go along with owning them. Hope you learned something useful from this video, don't forget to subscribe to see more animal related videos from us and we'll see you in our next video.